you so much. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to be here. I, I felt like I just had to get out of the house. Um, <laughs> I got two little ones back home that I'm raising, um, uh, ages seven, 72 and 73. <laughs> my parents, my adorable parents. <laughs> Everything they told me not to do as a kid, as they're getting older, they're doing it now. <laughs> like staring, they love it. <laughs> we go to the mall, they just stare aggressively. Just. <sighs> My dad's a pointer, he just points like, look at him, look at him. I'm like, dad, that's your reflection, you know? <laughs> but I love my parents, I wish you guys could meet them, they're so sweet, my mom, best way I can describe my mom, she's the type of lady who has a fake flower in a vase with real water. <laughs> Hoping for a miracle. <laughs> it's gonna happen, mijo, you know? <laughs> Growing up, we didn't have a lot of money, like for Christmas, I remember one year my mom gave me fake Jordans, and I knew something was up because the Jordan symbol was like doing this on it. You know? <laughs> my parents are good people. It's like my dad, he worked hard and sometimes we didn't have money for gifts during Christmas and that was okay because he always gave me something. For Christmas, he used to put gift wrapping paper on the wall. <laughs> Christmas day, like, I'll give you a place to live. Merry Christmas. <laughs> My dad does have a good sense of humor. He told me the other day that I'm lazy, and if I was a transformer, I'd be a futon, so. <laughs> Raising your parents is hard. I worry who my mom hangs out with, you know? I do, there's some bad old ladies out there, you know? <laughs> my mom, her best friend, Samantha, uh, you know, she's super sweet and older, but man, I don't like that bitch at all, you know? <laughs> the other day I come home, they're hanging out, Samantha sees me, zips out of there. <laughs> I walk in, my mom's in suspense, sweating, bloodshot eyes. I've never seen my mom high before. <laughs> it scared me, I'm like, mama, you okay? This is what she says, she goes, nothing. <laughs> she felt bad, she's like, look, I took some pills that Samantha gave me, but you're not mad at me, are you? I'm like, no, no mom, I'm not mad at you, I'm just, I'm just very disappointed. <laughs> I had to sit down with my mom. I'm like, listen, when you do stuff like this, I feel like I can't trust you anymore. I need you to write down all your friends' names and phone numbers, just so I know who you're hanging out with. I'm like, you know what, as a matter of fact, give me Samantha's number. I wanna to talk to her son. Thank you. I wanted to call, see if he knew about what was going on. She didn't want me to call. Don't call him, I'm calling him right now. <laughs> I'm like, hey, listen, man, your mom and my mom can't hang out anymore. <laughs> She's a bad influence. I don't like how you're raising your parents over there, bye. <laughs> the tables turn as you get older, you know? Like, when I was little, my mom used to take me like to soccer practice, karate, and that was great. But it was embarrassing when my mom would heckle me from the back, just hit back, stupid, hit back. <laughs> I don't pay 50 bucks a month for get your ass whooped, okay? <laughs> I could have done that free at the house. So now I take my mom to water aerobics, same things are happening. I take her, she gets in the pool. She's not even, she's just bobbing in the water. <laughs> not even with the class, over here just looking at me. Just... <laughs> I'm like, come on mom, move, do something. I don't pay 50 bucks a month for you to bob in the water all day. <laughs> and then we're driving home, you know, we're driving home. My mom's like, can we get McDonald's? Like, no, McDonald's are for winners, nobody won today. <laughs> My name is Jesus Trejo, that's my time.